what plants are toxic to horses. So I know in the past we've done videos about what fruits and vegetables, right. which we'll put a link in the description for you guys so you can check that one out. So I am curious to see what plants are. Oh, so the short answer is pretty much everything. <laughs> There's hundreds. And um, this book is quite old. It's a Horse Owner's Field Guide to Toxic Plants. But the name says it all. <laughs> yeah, it's a wonderful book. I think I got it in either undergrad or vet school. And I, I use it even now. So um, it's quite old. <laughs> and um, there's also, the, so the, the author, Sandra Berger, used a uh, resource. His name is um, uh, Anthony Knight. And he's recognized as one of the, the gurus of toxic plants in animals, especially okay. horses. So a uh, great resource, and he has written or been interviewed for many articles in, in magazines, and I picked one in Equus uh, a couple years ago where he listed the 10 most most poisonous plants ten for most. horses. Okay. okay, so I want to read through that. Um, those are the ones to keep an eye on mostly. So bracken fern, um, and I can add some tips about each, like must consume hundreds of pounds of it, which normally wouldn't be a problem, except this is one of the few poisonous plants that horses find tasty. Ah, uh, why is that? Why does nature do that? It's not fair. So, <laughs> uh, number two was poison hemlock, where four to five mm. pounds is a lethal dose for a horse. And then tansy ragwort, also known as groundsel. Um, that's, it's again in the 50 to 150 pounds, but it's cumulative. So they would have to be out in that area for but a while. over time. Over time, yeah. consuming that. Yeah. Uh, something in my area, Johnson grass or Sudan grass, it's a sorghum variety, uh, but only when it's damaged, wilted, trampled, f frost. Okay. Yeah. Like so, like the red maple leaves, which is on here too. If only a pound or two of those can be toxic, but it has to be wilted leaves. So in the fall when the leaves drop or after a storm. So that's when they're the most toxic. Yeah. Leaves, red maple leaves on the tree are toxic. It's after they're wilted and wilted. fallen off. Yeah. Uh, loco weed, oleander, now that's an ornamental, yeah. and it only takes 30 to 40 leaves. Another ornamental, and this one I have a, a lot where I live, is yew, or Japanese yew. Okay. It's a bush planted around houses, and you're like, how do horses get access yeah. to that? Well, what happens is, and here it's only a handful, only a few leaves can, can kill a mm -hmm. horse. Um, when people or landscapers trim the bushes, and they're like, oh, horses. Mm. And they throw it over the fence, the clippings, and then the horses eat them. They that's, think they're doing something good every yeah, time. Yeah, that's how it happens. So you got to be careful. Um, water hemlock is on there, and yellow star thistle, which is also known as Russian knapweed. So those are my list of 10. Is there something people can do to find out if they have these things on their property? Because I'm a super hypochondriac, so now yeah. that you've told me this, I will assume everything in the area <laughs> is yeah. now toxic. Um, so I wrote also an article. Could you hold this one up? I absolutely can. Yeah. It's a, a really good article in uh, Dressage Today, and what's the date on it? Can we see the month and year? 2016, March 15th, okay. 2016. So this is the issue you want, and the article mentions things about uh, who to contact in your area about the poisonous plants, because poisonous plants, I mean like all plants, they don't grow most of them throughout the U.S. Their, mm -hmm. their areas, like the dry southern southwest U.S. or um, in the cold northern climates or, or maybe they, a plant only grows in Florida or something. So talk to your, your veterinarian and he, if he or she doesn't have the, the resources right there, what you'll do is work with your um, local vet school or university uh, and yeah. the county extension agents okay. are a great resource. They know exactly what plants are in your area, what to watch for. So you can see if anything matches up to what's mm -hmm. on that list, and then if you have it yep. in your property. The other tip is, because most poisonous plants aren't very palatable, mm. horses avoid them, except when they're hungry. And then they'll eat anything. <laughs> well, yeah. So in, when I was in practice, um, every, every July, August, so every summer, fall, we'd have an outbreak of white snake root poisoning. Mm. Because pastures would dry up, or the horses would eat them down, and then they were hungry. So they would, this plant's found on the edge of a pasture in a woods. They would go further and find the only growing plant, which mm. is white snake root, which they, ordinarily they wouldn't eat, but they were hungry. Yeah. So if you can keep your pastures in good shape and your hay in front of you, like 
when, when pastures are not looking good, then supplement with hay. Mm. So keep your horses full so and they won't seek, seek out, out those other things. things they normally wouldn't eat. So, but the other thing I wanted to tell you, we, so we got the important stuff out of the yes. way, 10 most poisonous plants and a few tips. Um, my husband is a veterinarian too, mm -hmm. you, you knew that, right? Yes. And he's a small animal vet. And he's interested in um, snakes and, and toads and frogs and amphibians. So he's what's called a veterinary herpetologist. Yeah, you guys have a couple snakes, right? We do, we do. <laughs> so every once in a while someone asks us, are your snakes poisonous, right? Uh-huh, first and, question that come out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, and he reminds me that snakes are not poisonous, snakes are venomous. Ah. Do you know the difference? I do not. I do not either, and I forget, and so I'm reminded by him every year. So, <laughs> poisons are toxic substances secreted by plants or animals. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, there are those, those poisonous dart frogs of somewhere, yeah. Brazil or something. Okay, venom is injected, ah. so you have to be bitten. So there's a little, if you bite it and die, it's poisonous. If you bite and die, it's poisonous. If it bites you and you die, it's venomous. <laughs> so there you go. That's the fun tip fact for today. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's a good way to remember it. You may, you may need that, who knows, tomorrow. Hopefully not. <laughs>